one of the most popular classes within the Toyo Tires MSA British Rally Cross Championship is the Swift Sport Series. The Swift Sport Rally Cross Championship has had great action all day long here at Lyndon Hill in Kent, and Simon Ovenden is the man to beat ahead of Morgan Bailey with Christopher Lear third as we get ready for the first of the two semi-finals that will determine the grid for the main race. Five laps of action. Our first semi-final is about to get underway. Simon opened on pole position in the red car. Christopher Lear on the middle of the front row. Rob Maynard alongside as the lights go green. These front-wheel drive cars blast away from the line with Lear on the outside of Maynard. They lean on each other as they dive down towards Chesson's Drift. One or two drivers going for the longer joker lap on the first lap. As Simon Ovenden leads the pack as they work their way now up across the loose and hit tarmac. When everybody is in the same car, it is all down to driver ability. Five laps this semi-final. Simon Ovenden, the man to beat, and he has not been beaten all day long. But now, Christopher Lear, one of the Norwegian drivers that's come into British Rallycross this year, is taking the battle to him as they work their way to the hairpin for the first time. Downhill they go with the top two trying to break clear of the opposition now. Lots of road on the outside is used there. Look by the leader Simon Ovenden to therefore dive across, making sure he stays on the grippiest part of the road for as long as possible. Onto the loose they come now. And is that lead gap starting to creep up ever so slightly? I think the answer is yes here. Christopher Lear going after his man as they come across the loose. But Simon Ovenden is in charge. Brother Tristan, one of the leading lights in Super National, and he has had a good day, and somebody not having a good day there, getting it all wrong, looks as though it was Abby James, and then there's more contact as she comes back onto the road. Abby James getting in all sorts of strife through the devil's elbow, and now uphill. Rally Cross, remember, is a non-contact sport, but Andrew Graham getting into the back of her there, and the two cars making contact. He has survived it, so has Abby James, but there's some damage on the back of her car. There's damage on the front as well, in fact, so not a great lap for Abby James, new to the series this weekend. Right, the top two then accelerate their way out of Chesson's Drift. Joker lap being served this time by those behind as Christopher Lear battles on in 196, chasing after Simon Ovenden. Simon Ovenden leads the way. It looks as though another race win is going to go his way. Next battle rages on, down towards the Devil's Elbow in 145. Christian Hainsworth trying to hang on to his place. Race leaders downhill once again, up at the top of the hill at the hairpin, coming under attack from Rob Maynard. Now it's Christian Hainsworth who was on the second row of the grid, so he's made progress here. Cars work their way down towards Paddock, tarmac to loose. Through they come. Over the kerb. Doesn't unsettle them too much, even though they're rather upright little cars. And somebody having all sorts of dramas again, I'm afraid to say, is Abby James. That was wrong through Paddock, and she slides all the way across the loose and ends up at the exit of the chicane, trying to sort herself out now. They're pairing off a little bit, and you can see there's bits of Suzuki Swift lying in the road on the run down to the Devil's Elbow. The fight's on for third still. Christian Hainsworth versus Rob Maynard. And it's the top four that go through, so they don't want to risk anything and not get into the final. But equally, the better they go, the better the grid position for the main race of the day. Downhill, Maynard attacking, but Simon Ovenden, having won his previous qualifying heat, looks like he's going to win the semi-final as well. This time he serves the joker lap, Christian Hainsworth goes really wide through Paddock, and almost up against the barriers on the inside there was Rob Maynard. Their fight for third, Rage is on now. Down they come, across the loose at Chesson's Drift again. Steer clear of those barriers that have been pretty unforgiving and people in other categories, especially supercars, have really come a cropper against those all day. The top two, Simon Ovenden and Christopher Lear, were the top two on the grid. They run first and second in the race as well as they head to the hairpin now. The chequered flag is going to be made ready this time around. Simon Ovenden looking as though yet another victory. Four from four today in terms of race wins will go his way. The man that won at Croft in these cars, Chris Woollett, coming up in the second semi-final. But the chequered flag is ready and it is a semi-final win for Simon Ovenden who has dominated the racing all day long. Second goes the way of Christopher Lear and we'll see who is going to be third across the timing line in a moment.
confirmation of the results. A win for Simon Overton from Christopher Lear. Christian Hainsworth up to third from Rob Maynard. Andrew Graham in his fifth and Abby James in sixth spot. Semi-final two about to get underway. Morgan Bailey, Rob Shield, Chris Woollett on row one. Don McLeod and Dominic Flitney on row two as we go racing. Now, Chris Woollett outside of row one was the Croft winner, so he's the championship leader. And there being squeezed onto the grass and into the barriers, Morgan Bailey. That was Rob Shield being very uncompromising. And he's ended up with problems of his own by the look of it. Damage suspension arguably the bite a bit in all of that because he kept on coming and Morgan Bailey had nowhere to go except into the barriers. He has got damage, but Rob Shield has come off worse. So Morgan Bailey continues. And what can Chris Woollett now do about him after having, as you saw, served the Joker that first time around? And it was a shrewd move that because it got him away from any contact as well. Out of the hairpin comes Morgan Bailey then. He accelerates downhill, second looks like being Don McLeod at the moment, but of course those that serve the Joker lap have a slower and a longer lap, so it takes a little bit of a, a while for it all to cycle through. Woollett runs third then, and fourth there is Dominic Flitney, so the one we've lost is Rob Shield. His dad, Michael Shield, former British champion, indeed, up until Dan Rook last year, the youngest British champion. Tire barriers lie across the road, and a broken car lies up against the barrier. So Rob Shield's day is done. He's not going to qualify. Therefore, these four that survive will all get through. They just need to keep out of trouble. Down to the hairpin, Don McLeod turning his way through. Now there, look, Chris Woollett behind him. Chris, who's done some bike racing, some oval racing, came into Swift Sport last year and has got better and better and better. Had a really good day in North Yorkshire, and he's not done yet. What can he do in this race, and what can he do in the final against Simon Ovenden? Downhill he goes now, inching up onto the back of Don McLeod, the former RX150 racer, the Border Force officer. Woolett bouncing his way from tarmac to loose. You can see he's closing, closing, closing on the car ahead of him. Through that chicane they come briefly onto tarmac and then back onto the loose. It was at Lydon that Rally Cross effectively started. I know it had its time in the Brands Hatch car park, but this has been the spiritual home, really, of the category for well over 50 years. And it is still the home for the final time this year of the World Championship round in Great Britain. And it is somewhere that is intrinsically linked to Rally Cross, and it always delivers the goods. You can see why. That long climb up Harry Hill to the hairpin. Wide goes Don McLeod. Chris Woollett tries to get up the inside. And now you plunge downhill, heading towards Paddock to the outside line goes Woollett. He's not going to go around the outside, surely. No, runs out of road. It's too long a lap that. So he's got to slot back in and try and find a gap on the inside as they approach Chesson's Drift now. To the inside goes Woollett, and McLeod makes it easy for him because he now serves the Joker lap, that much longer lap. So you do half of the circuit racing line. Then there's a little chicane that cuts back onto the rally cross track. But of course, with the extra length and the chicane to slow you, it is a much slower part of the lap. And he falls, Don McLeod, behind Chris Woollett. So Woollett's away and clear. That gives him second place now, chasing after Morgan Bailey. Downhill once more comes Woollett, turning his way behind Morgan Bailey there into Paddock. Morgan Bailey on his own, despite the damage sustained at the start of the race. Now, he will joker this time. He goes to the longer route, avoids the barriers, put in the temporary barriers. Break, turn right, turn left. There's a big step here, wait for it. Jumps down, Chris Woollett's up the inside. This is the lead battle with less than a lap to go. Woollett's got the inside line here. Morgan Bailey just gets his nose back in front. He's got the inside line for the Devil's Elbow, and so Morgan Bailey takes over leadership in the second semi-final in the Swiss Sports. But Chris Woollett has not given up yet, has he? He's on the outside line. Here they make the run up towards the hairpin. They're still side by side. Woollett on the outside. Morgan Bailey, who has led since the lights went green, is still ahead as they come downhill, but Woollett tries to get up the inside, and that door is closed as well. Down to Paddock, wide in for Woollett, tight out, but he's going to run out of time, I fear, because here they come, up towards the chequered flag. It is a win for Morgan Bailey in semi-final two. Chris Woollett chasing him home in second spot. Morgan Bailey wins semi-final two in the Swift Sport Rallycross Championship from Chris Woollett. Dominic Flitney up to third. 
Don McLeod down to fourth, and Rob Shield an early retirement. The final for the Swiss Sports is about to get underway. Four laps we are down to because there's an awful lot to cram in and a few delays have made it a bit tight on the curfew. Ovenden, Bailey, Lear on the front row. Woollett and Hamesworth row two with Flitney, Maynard, McLeod. The back row, we go racing. Good start made by Christopher Lear. He's on the outside line, so is he going to peel left and joker? Yes, he is. Christian Hainsworth goes with him, and it's Simon Ovenden up the inside line. Now, he has not been beaten in a race all day long, but Morgan Bailey is on the outside, and there's a spin in the background. There are two spins in the background. There are cars facing every which way. I think one of them was Chris Woollett. The leaders work their way down towards the devil's elbow. And it is Simon Ovenden then who hangs on to the advantage. Morgan Bailey right there behind him as they work their way uphill now. They break for the hairpin. These two together, and because of all the dramas behind, they've been able to break away a little bit. Downhill they head now. Through the right-hander into Paddock. So Simon Ovenden leading the way. And then in second spot, hunting him down, is Morgan Bailey as the cars flick their way through that chicane and hit the tarmac once again. Somebody in trouble. Is that Christopher Lear? Possibly. There's one car running wide out of the chicane. So the race continues. Up front, though, pulling away. Simon Ovenden, Morgan Bailey chasing after him, and that gap is widening now. Down they come, through the devil's elbow. The top two, long clear of anybody else. And really, it's a bit of the survival of the fittest, this. We've had so many dramas. You can see there are lots of dog-eared cars with chunks of bodywork missing. Just getting to the end is going to be quite an achievement for some. 145 is Christian Hainsworth. He was in trouble at the very start. Don McLeod through with the Saltar across the roof of the car. He's managed to escape, I think, without too much damage. Dominic Flitney running with him. And then that looks like what's left of Chris Woollett's car behind. In fact, it's Rob Maynard who is behind Don McLeod. More joker laps being served. This time around, Ovenden, I think, has to joker. And that will give the lead to Morgan Bailey. Yes, it does. You can see how much faster and dustier and drier the road has become after quite a bit of rain early on in the day. Now there, Don McLeod being caught by Chris Woollett as they work their way down towards the Devil's Elbow once again. Chris Woollett's car is not going to make it two out of two, is it? Because although he won at Croft, what's left of it is looking decidedly second-hand here. Now Morgan Bailey starts the last lap and he's got to joke at this time. In second place there is Simon Ovenden, pushing, 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 pushing. He goes to the loose closest to us there and about to lose the lead is Morgan Bailey because Simon Ovenden goes through up on the inside and Morgan Bailey is going to be lucky to hang on to his second place here as the cars sprint their way back across the loose Christopher Lear drops to third so it means that Morgan Bailey having led the bulk of the race now falls back behind Simon Ovenden as the Joker cycles through and Ovenden won Q1, Q2, Q3 his semi-final he's going to win the final as well a perfect day at Lydon seemingly as long as he gets around the hairpin and gets around Paddock safely he heads off downhill looking dominant working their way down towards the chicane now Checkered flag is going to be made ready. And so Simon Ovenden, after a perfect day at Lydon, wins the Swift Sport final. Second will go to Morgan Bailey and third, Christopher Lear. Another all-action race and a win for Simon Ovenden. Morgan Bailey second, Christopher Lear third. Don McLeod going well for fourth ahead of the battered car of Chris Woollett. Dominic Flitney sixth from Rob Maynard and Christian Hainsworth in stride in eighth. Championship-wise, Ovenden ahead of Woollett now by only two points. And one back is Christopher Lear third from Morgan Bailey. And then Rob Shield fifth.